Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Asteroid Collision. In this question, we are given an array of asteroid of integers representing the asteroids in a row. Now for each asteroid, the absolute value represents its size and the sign represents its direction. Positive meaning right and negative meaning left. Now the each asteroid is moving at the same speed. We need to find out the state of the asteroids after all the collisions. If the two asteroids meet, the smaller one will explode. If both are of same size, both will explode. Now the two asteroids are moving in the same directions will never meet. We are having a th uh, we are having three cases over here. First case is the both asteroids are moving in the opposite direction. Then we have a case in which both asteroids are moving either left, either right or either left. In these two cases the asteroids won't be meeting. So we'll focus our attention on the fact that they are mo moving in the opposite directions. So now if asteroid is moving from left to right, in that case, it will be a positive and the second should be a negative. Now inside this case, there can be three cases. The cases for opposite direction. We have the case one is when the positive is greater than the negative. Like if the value, if the two are A and B, then A is greater than B. In this case, A will remain. The case two is when A is less than B. In this case, B remains. And the third case is when A is equals to B, the value is equal. In this case, no asteroid remain. Okay, now that we know of all these things, let's see this question in a, let's see and dry run what the input and output says. So if the input is 10, 5, minus 5 as given in the sample input, what we see is we start from these two pairs and see that they are moving in opposite direction. Our first conditions, this condition satisfies. So we have these three cases to be checked. And this fits the case where A is greater than B. In this case, 10 remains, 5 explodes. So now we check for 10 and 5 and as they do not fit into our condition, we do not do anything and return 5, 10. If we take this input, then minus 8 and 8 uh, satisfies our condition of plus and minus and uh, they are moving in opposite direction. That means and the two and with the three cases, we check it fits the third case that they are both are equal and in that case, no asteroid is remaining. So we return an empty set. For the third example, we see that minus 5 and 2 is there. So minus 5 and 2 is, let's write it down over here. We have 10, 2 and minus 5. When we go take this 2, what remains is, as this satisfy condition, minus 5 remains. Now we check for 10 and minus 5 as 10 is bigger. 10 remains. If instead of 10, it was a 4, in that case, at the end, minus 5 would have remained. In these examples, we are going from right to left in the input scenarios. What about we go from left to right? What about we go like this? Instead of going 10 to and minus 5 in checking 2 and minus 5 we check 10 and 2 like this what we are doing is we are having a 10 and this is in a stable environment in this scenario what we do is which we add a one more asteroid that we have 2 we check it doesn't satisfy the condition of plus and minus and so we move ahead and add minus 5 when minus 5 is added we check it satisfies the condition 
we go to minus 5 we make it minus 5 after it is minus 5 we again check for this value so we are continuously doing it this is a kind of data structure that we use very frequently it is a kind of stack that we can say uh, we can see that 10 is at the top of the stack then we add 2 when we add 2 at the top of the stack we see and we check with the top that whether it satisfies the condition and uh, operation should be applied or not after that we add minus 5 and we see that it satisfies the condition so we check it it satisfies our condition and accordingly we add minus we remove 2 from in between and then we check minus 5 with the stack till the condition of this plus and minus get satisfied So, we are sure that we are using stack to figure out the result. Now that we know that, let's code it and we will be taking a stack of integer. Now, for every value, now we check for the condition that we were talking about we will have a while loop over here we are having a while loop because we need to check the current value recursively till it satisfies the condition with the top of the stack so what we will do is to get away with the null pointer we check if the stack is empty or not uh, if it is not empty and the asteroid is a negative value and the top of the stack should be a positive value. Now we check our three conditions of greater, smaller and equal. So what we do is we check that the value of asteroid as it will be a negative value we negate it. So minus of asteroid is greater than stack dot peak if the negative value is greater then we just pop that's from the stack else if if the value is less than the stack dot peak in that case we have reached a stable system we need not to work on it and we can just break from the loop else is the part where both are equal in that case we need to pop the element from the stack and pop and we break from the loop as there is no asteroid left now so only when the negative value is greater we need to insert it into the stack otherwise we need not to insert that into the stack in order to do that we need to have a boolean variable which the flag is we make the flag as false in both these values for f for once they are in this and the flag is false we make it okay it's false and if the flag is still true that means we need to insert that value into the stack once it is done it will our completed stack is ready and we just need to create an array to hold the result so what we do is we create an array of size which is equal to stack dot size then we loop now we start a loop from the end as a stack is a leafo kind of fashion and the value which uh, which should be a very at the very end of the uh, resulting array uh, is at the very start of the stack.
So what we do is we have greater than zero and i. Yes. And move continuously. So this will work. Let's run this code. We are giving right output. Let's check for other test cases as well. So we are getting the right answer. Let's submit at this. So it gets successfully submitted. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.